Welcome to this presentation about the ISOBUS Virtual Terminal of Canoe. I'm Heiko Schwind from the Development Department of Vector. ISOBUS is used for communication between ECUs in e-agriculture. The Virtual Terminal is an important ISOBUS device which can be used to operate multiple ISOBUS ECUs. Canoe offers a built-in virtual terminal, which I will show you now. Let's have a look at the agenda. First, I show you how to insert a virtual terminal in Canoe and what possibilities of configuration you have. Then we will study how we can work with the terminal. Finally, there is a summary about the benefits of the Vector Virtual Terminal. So let's start now. Here you see the simulation setup of Canoe. In my configuration, there are already three simulated ISO bus nodes. A sprayer, a loader and an auxiliary input. To insert a virtual terminal, we open the context menu and click on command insert virtual terminal. Now we switch to the desktop simulation. Here you see a panel for the auxiliary input and here we open the virtual terminal window. There are four pages, data mask, object pool, auxiliary function and configuration. Here we can choose the VT version we can configure if we want to use the ISOBUS shortcut button. We can enable a passive mode if we want to observe another VT. And we can set the hardware properties. Further on, we can define the size of different masks. And we can set the number of user layout masks and the number of soft keys. We can also configure the font properties, language specific settings, as well as the J1939 device name and the address of the virtual terminal. And there are some more properties. After we have configured our virtual terminal, we are ready to use it and start with the second part of our presentation. If we start the measurement, the other ISO bus devices send their object pools to the virtual terminal and we can select the one we are interested in. At the bottom part of the virtual terminal, we see the information section where error and, and information messages are listed. If we stop the measurement, we can synchronize other canoe windows uh, with a time of a message. For example, we can open a trace window. And if we press the button on the right, we jump to the corresponding message in the trace window. To go on, we start the measurement again and close the trace window. If tooltips are activated, uh, they display the attributes of an object. By means of the context menu, we can jump to an object in the object pool page. For the selected object, you see a preview on the right side, as well as the properties of the object and referenced objects. In the search field, you can filter for the number of an object, for the object type, or for the value of a text object. On page auxiliary function, we can assign an auxiliary input and if we activate the learn mode, we can assign an input 
by selecting the function and clicking the auxiliary input. In the user layout mask section, we can select different objects of uh, different devices. So we control, for example, the pressure of the sprayer and the loader position of the loader. Or we can operate the devices by adding um, soft key groups for the sprayer and for the loader. Let's summarize what we have learned. What are the benefits of the virtual terminal? As you have seen, it is easy to configure and to use. We can, we can configure a lot of properties and the terminal supports most necessary features. There are some unique features like the object pool view and the passive mode. And there is another feature I haven't mentioned yet. The terminal can also be controlled by the test unit. Thank you for viewing this video and good luck by trying out the virtual terminal of Canoe.